when it came to high school, so if you didn't play basketball, what were you doing? If it wasn't basketball, you were just that kid that went to school. I didn't play any rep, rep basketball growing up, but just because I was big and tall and athletic, it was just like grab rebounds, play defense, grab rebounds, pass the ball. Like you'd be scared to take the shots, even if you're wide open, because if you missed, coach put you on the bench. If you made it, you live to see another play. You learn after you finish high school and you start playing basketball recreationally. There's the guys who made college and they were great, and then you tried to play with those guys and you realize your limitations. Did I miss that? Yeah. Wow. It was a really um, an eye opener, and if anything, um, kind of disturbing that like you didn't, I didn't have that skill set growing up, and like me and a few friends like just they couldn't dribble, right? And it just made me want to learn more because I could do what they could do, but I was told that I couldn't do it. It's painful because you just realize that like there's so much to know, right? But then it's also motivating because like I'm at this point, but imagine when I get to this point and there's always these hurdles that you get to climb and you always get to pass and go over because there's always, you can always be better. You heard that. Don't let someone tell you that you can't do the things that you want to do because you can do it, it's just practice. And everyone, everyone says that practice makes perfect, perfect your craft. All those little sayings and nuances, you can do it. It's just the time and the effort that you need to put in to do the things that you want to achieve. My name is Jonathan. Oh, I got that. Basketball advocate, basketball lover. Hopefully my future kids play basketball. And I just want to bring more basketball to the community.